Hello my beautiful Pisces, my name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerzen.com here to bring you your weekly love forecast for August 12th to the 18th. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing and thank you to all my members. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook or Instagram or you'd like a personal reading, go to uh, the links in the description box below. All right, so we're gonna do the day to day and then the overall and then advice. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going on with my Pisces romantic love life for August 12th to the 18th? What's going on with my Pisces romantic love life for August 12th to 18th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. All right, this is going to be for your love interest. What's going on with my Pisces love interest romantic love life for August 12th to 18th? Pisces love interest romantic love life for August 12th to 18th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. And this is going to be for your oracle. What's going on my Pisces romantic love life for August 12th to 18th? Pisces romantic love life for August 12th to 18th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, let's see what's going on here, Pisces. All right, so on the 12th, there is some kind of renewal. There's some kind of healing here with the renewal card. And it does look like it's a sense of happiness on this day, a sense of optimism. Um, definitely luck is on your side with the sun card energy. Your love interest of the person you're dealing with on the 12th has a sense of focusing on a family and long-term commitments here with the Ten of Pentacles energy. On the 13th, again, you have the sun card energy. Luck is on your side. Things are moving in your favor. Uh, a sense of happiness here. Yep, Ten of Cups says there is a sense of complete happiness here. So two good days there. And your love interest has a sense of hope or optimism here with the star card energy. On the 14th, oops, all these cards just wanted to just fall over here. Let's put those back, okay. On the 14th, there is a proposal that's affecting your romantic love life here. And there seems to be uh, a sense that someone feels like you're a wise decision when it comes to love and romance, or you're trying to make wise decisions when it comes to love and romance. Your love interest or the person you're dealing with, wow, you guys both have the same energy coming out. King of Cups, as, is, as I said, wise decisions when it comes to love and romance. On the 15th, something to do with karma could be affecting your romantic love life with the karma card here. And uh, it looks like there's a judgment. There's things that are being moved in your favor. There's some kind of reconciliation, some kind of healing and renewal happening here with the judgment card energy. Your love interest of the person you're dealing with, think about this card as the savings card. Someone wants to hold on to things for success. They want to hold on to it. <laughs> All right, so on the 16th, um, watch out for any signs or symbols here, anything that may resonate with you. Pay attention to your dreams on this day. Pay attention to that uh, because it looks like you have a sense of confusion on this day, a sense of dreamy kind of energy, okay? Uh, obviously, this is your energy, Pisces. This is your card here, the moon card energy. Uh, there's a sense of dreamy energy, something spiritual, or a sense of confusion here with the moon card energy. So pay attention to signs or symbols on this day. Your love interest or the person that you're dealing with has the magician card energy. They're, they're having a sense that they have all the tools that they need, that they have an ideal situation here. On the 17th, be wise in your decision making when it comes to your romantic love life with the wisdom card energy. And Four of Cups shows me that you're having a sense that there's things that are being offered to you, right? Four of Cups energy, but you're not exactly sure if you want it. Or you're having a sense that there's some kind of missed opportunity here with the Four of Cups energy. Your love interest or the person that you're dealing with has the Ace of Rods energy. So there's some kind of opportunity for passion or renewed passion here. On the 18th, reunions could be affecting your romantic love life. Somebody probably from the past there. Uh, yep, it is somebody from the past because there's a sense of regret, a sense of loss, a sense of focusing on the past. So yeah, so we'll be careful about that day or watch out for that day on the 18th. Mm. Your love interest of the person you're dealing with has the tower card energy. There is a sense of some big surprises, big upheavals and something to do with a shocking event there. Wow, it seems like it's going to be, it starts out so great and then we go into this at the end. My goodness, okay. So I'm anxious to see what your overall is gonna be. All right, so bear with me for a second here. Let's take a look and see what's going on with your numerology for this week. I'm just gonna make sure that I get the cards in, in order here of the way they happen this week. All right, let me move this out of the way. Obviously that one's first, second, and third. 
So three cards this week for the numerology. So what do we got going on here? So there's a sense of happiness, complete happiness with the Ten of Cups, or a sense of completion or accomplishment here, because of stability, stableness, or things that you structured in a certain way. And obviously with the five card energy, there's some changes happening here. There's something to do with changes or transformations or some kind of challenges there. All right, so Pisces, I'm gonna use two different decks. One's a little clarifier in the main deck, okay. What's going on? My Pisces Romantic Love Life, August 12th to 18th. Pisces Romantic Love Life for August 12th to the 18th. Cards you see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. There's the clarifier. Pisces Romantic Love Life for August 12th to 18th. Pisces Romantic Love Life for August 12th to 18th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, that feels good. So in the current situation, you have this potential opportunity here. Ace of Pentacles, there's an offer here. But they're stressing about, it. somebody's stressing about this. They're stressed about this potential offer, Ace of Pentacles energy. Five is about some kind of challenge or change because of this potential offer. Um, the Emperor card's coming out. Now the blockage could be for some of you work, it could be a fatherly figure, it could be something to do with control, organizing things, structuring things in a certain way. Um, because of movement change or improvement here all right so there's a person that wants some kind of change or improvement and so they want things they want control of this okay and that's blocking you or crossing you at the foundation there's a sense all right we need to slow things down knight of pentacles energy right we need to slow things down because of healing recovery and sometimes the tree card can also represent boredom too for uh, like almost like the four of cups energy in the sense um so it can be healing and recovery, but also can be a sense of boredom. So somebody wants things to slow down. Knight of Pentacles energy. In the past, there were some things going on pertaining to marriage and long-term commitment and an opportunity here for success. As you know, we have the, that's how we got to the Ace of Pentacles. You have this offer, this potential offer, but there's someone, someone's stressing. They're stressing about this. They're like, they, I wanna slow it down. I, I, I want some kind of sense of slow down. I want control over this. And, and, uh, and, and I wanna get in front of this and I want this organized and structured in a certain way. At the head of the manor, we see marriage, long-term commitment, traditional values, and some kind of letter, message, or document about it. And in the near future, there's a sense of completion, actually, accomplishment, travel, foreign. So there's a person that's like, all right, I'm ready to take this to another level of commitment here, world kind of energy. I want some kind of completion here. I'm ready to be loyal. I want to be friendly here. Okay with the doll card energy. So there's a letter, a message, a document, an opportunity for healing and recovery because of loyalty, friendliness, of wanting to take this to another level of commitment. There's something to do with marriage, long-term commitment, traditional values, something to do with traditions, and marriage and long-term commitment. Someone's wanting to slow things down, but it looks like coming up in the near future, it's gonna, you know, there's gonna be a sense of completion, a sense of accomplishment when it comes to this, all right? Nine is about wishes being fulfilled because it's something that was completed. So what's the influence? The influence has been waiting around to see how things are gonna play out here, Seven of Pentacles energy, when it comes to stability and stableness here with the Inker card energy. So if we look at the numbers here, eight is putting the work or effort into a lot of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing. The doll card is here, the loyalty, the friendliness, or uh, is here because of some kind of opportunity of success. And obviously the doll card is also here because of loyalty or friendliness or even a soulmate connection because the doll card can represent a soulmate. Uh, soulmate connection because of stability and stableness. Or there is, for somebody who may feel that there's something stuck and stagnant of waiting around to see how things are gonna play out here, okay? That also could be the case as well. All right, so before we go forward to what the outcome is going to be, I wanna take a look at Oh my goodness, I wanna take a look at the advice here. All right, so you know what? You need to defend your position. All right, for some of you, I feel like there is something to do with traditional values and something to do with a fatherly figure or something to do with a, a, a sense of lack of control. And it's like almost like you want some kind of change or movement here. Um, and maybe this is not exactly what you want here. Okay, so you need to defend this position. If this is what you want, defend your position. If it's not what you want, then defend your position. Defend your position, because it's like you're 
having to defend your position uh, against other people here, possibly for some of you with the Seven of Wands energy about what you want. You got to defend your position and what you want here with the Seven of Wands energy, okay? And we're going to clarify that too, just to be sure here. What's the Seven of Wands about? What's the Seven of Wands about? Show me a card you can see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, love, abundance. Luck is turning on your side, things are moving in your favor, and having a sense that your hands are tied. So you have to defend your position when it comes to love so that things can move in your favor. Don't feel like your hands are tied in this situation because they're not. You could defend your position, okay? All right, I'm just gonna clarify further just because I see the other card there. All right, we have the snake card energy, we have the book card energy, and we have the ship card energy. Okay, so you're trying to uh, possibly for some of you, maybe you're focused on work or other things or repetitive tasks, or you're having a sense that you don't know if you want to put the work or effort into something because you're feeling like there's challenges or lack of flexibility. You're waiting for an opportunity uh, because you need to gain some kind of knowledge here. And you're deciding you want some kind of change or transformation here. You're ready for some kind of movement change or transformation here with the death card energy. Possibly for some of you, maybe you want to end something to start again anew. And wow, the death card is another card that's been coming out a lot this week. Um, so I'm going to clarify that death card energy. What is this death card about? What is this death card about? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. It's about you fulfilling your wishes here with the Nine of Cups energy and having a lot of stress about that and a lot of contemplation about what do you want on a long-term basis or a motherly energy here because we got the Empress card energy too which is coming out. Empress and then Queen of Pentacles is the same exact energy. It's a motherly kind of energy. So it's like you're, you're stressing about fulfilling your wishes and there's some kind of motherly energy there. And it's like you, it's a lot of wills that play with a cherry card energy. And you're trying to gain the courage and strength and confidence to be wise in your decision making, what you feel passionate about, so that luck can turn in your favor, right? With the Wheel of Fortune energy. Okay, so I see that there's some is issues going on with marriage, okay? Long term commitment or traditional values. And there's a person that wants to slow walk things, right? And in the near future is a sense of loyalty and wanting something to do with something completed here with the world card energy. The influence is somebody's been waiting around for some kind of stability and stableness. But I feel like you're just like, all right, I feel challenged by this situation. I feel like there's a lack of flexibility of putting the work or effort into this. And you're just going to wait for the opportunity for this because of the fact that you want to gain knowledge or you have a sense that um, you don't have all the factors that you want here. So you're wanting some kind of change movement or uh, you want some kind of change here. Obviously, the death card energy is big transformational change. So big transformational change is gonna happen at the, this week because of the fact that you feel challenged and you need to figure some things out here. But remember, defend your position, okay? Defend your position, you have the right, you can win this, you have the higher ground. All right, my Pisces, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to all my members. Guys, you know I love to hear from you guys. Let me know what's going on in the comments below. I love you guys so much and have a great rest of your day.